Hello, for this problem we have a brisk disc brake setup as shown below. Uh, so we've got a pair of brake pads that are kind of pinching down on the rotor itself. Um, each one of those has this kind of arc shape. It's got an inside radius of 6 inches, outside radius of 8 inches, and it covers 60 degrees of the total 360 degrees in our circle. Um, so this pair of brake pads uh, is going to pinch down on the ro uh, rotor with 300 pounds of force. Uh, and if we know the kinetic coefficient of friction between the brake pad and the rotor is 0.4, we want to find the stopping torque exerted by these brake pads. Uh, so first of all, we have uh, two brake pads. Again, it's one on the outside, one on the inside of this setup. Um, so we're going to use our equation, the friction force due to the moment, or sorry, the moment due to the friction force uh, is going to be equal to four-thirds and again, it's four-thirds because it's two of them, times the kinetic coefficient of friction, times the load force, and that's the 300 pounds that we're pinching down on the, the rotor with, uh, times <clears throat> our outer cubed minus our inner cubed over our outer squared minus our inner squared. All right, so now we need to start plugging in numbers. Um, so the moment due to friction is equal to 4 thirds. Kinetic coefficient of friction was 0.4. Uh, again, that has no units. The load force, it's 300 pounds. And this is, um, <clears throat> even though there's two pads, we still only use the uh, force from each of the two pads. Uh, and then we've got the radiuses. And so the outer radius is 8 inches and the inner radius is 6. So it's 8 inches cubed minus 6 inches cubed over 8 inches squared minus 6 inches squared. All right, so if I do all of the math um, and kind of plug in my numbers, I should get a moment due to friction that is equal to 1,691.4, and my units are going to be uh, inch pounds is what's left over. Uh, if I want to convert that uh, to foot pounds, which is a more standard unit, I simply divide or sorry uh, divide by 12 to turn it into foot pounds, and I got 140.9 foot-pounds of torque, uh, and that's the stopping torque of the brakes. So with that, we've solved our problem. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again.